Hey guys, it's Riley at Riley's Stepdad over on Instagram and Patchwork. And today, Kendall and I are driving into Chicago to sell clothes to Buffalo Exchange and Crossroads. So, I'm gonna do this video like I did Pounds to Play-Dohs in the past. I stopped doing those videos because I stopped going to Play-Dohs Closet. But I've had some interest in people seeing what they accept and reject. So, just like the previous video series I did on my channel, I'm going to show you what I'm taking them today and then put a check mark if they accepted or an X mark if they rejected it. As I am editing this video, I just thought of a great name for this series. I used to do Pounds to Play-Dohs, as I said. Now I'm doing Bins to Buffalo Exchange slash Crossroads. As I said, I prefer Crossroads, but the name flows. So we're calling this new series of Bins items to get trade and credit or cash, you know, we're calling it Bins to Buffalo Exchange. We are in the Chicago suburbs. We do have to drive into the city to sell to these stores, but if you do not have a Buffalo Exchange or Crossroads, obviously these are styles and brands to be looking at for Plato's Closet as well, if you can get them for cheap, because Plato's Closet gives you even less than Buffalo Exchange and gosh, what is it, Crossroads? I actually prefer Crossroads. So if you did not know how I do it, I, how do I get the sun out of my face? There's my stuff, I'm taking them. I do 50% trading credit and then use that credit to purchase better items to sell on Poshmark, like mid-tier luxury, like stuff that will sell for above $60. And I'm taking them stuff that I pretty much cannot sell myself or will sell for like a $3 profit. So now I will show you what they are accepting and rejecting from me. Cool thing, I got an itemized receipt from Crossroads. Unfortunately, Buffalo Exchange didn't have an itemized receipt. They were just telling me what they priced each item at. So what I'm actually going to do is here, you can see what they priced the item at. So if I'm not too lazy, I think I'm gonna go through and tell you what I got paid out in store credit. Okay, I have a bag of stuff they rejected last time, but I'm taking it back in. My mom actually gave me this sweater. I don't know this brand. That's cute. Maybe they'll take it even though both Buffalo Exchange and Crossroads rejected it last time. Let's just see. They also rejected this We the Free Top a few times. I might have to hang on to this and take it in summer or just sell it myself. I don't love selling We the Free. I can definitely make money on that um, if they don't want it. This, okay, I think they don't i need to do some research i don't think they take bodysuits because anytime i've brought them bodysuits they reject them so this is the last time i'm gonna be taking this to them and if they don't want it i'll list it myself they also rejected this last time which i'm surprised i'll take it back it might just be a little too summery it is a vintage dress that gives tommy hilfiger vibes i'm really surprised they rejected that that might have to go in a summer bin okay let's put some stuff in there they haven't rejected yet they have not yet rejected this nike tee this is the first time it will be going there i honestly don't know if they'll want this though i think this has been rejected like two times it is a vintage jacket and it's confusing because i feel like i see this stuff in buffalo exchange and crossroads all the time but when i bring it they don't want it so that might be the last time I bring that. Okay, and then I have this Madewell thing I got at the bins. Um, I'm bringing it to them because it's an XX small, extra, extra small, and just a tank. So I could probably only sell this for like 14. So I'd rather take like the $8 they give me for it. Okay, they've rejected these Nuitag Zara pleather pants before but i think i only brought them once so i'll bring them again i'm hoping this time i get a different buyer they've also rejected these brandy melville or john galt they're actually john galt which is the same brand um skirts a couple times so if they reject these again i will lock these up and sell them together i'm a little surprised they don't want them because of the academia vibes i remember when i was like in middle school I thought this brand was so expensive and now as a reseller I'm like it's it's basically for everyone. Another piece I'm surprised they rejected is this like vintage J. Jill sweater but I saw so much stuff like this at Crossroads last year so I'm gonna give it another chance. I feel like it's probably wool or something. It's made in Hong Kong so definitely vintage. I just put this in a bins haul. It is like a vintage velvet top and I'm not selling it myself because it's like 
it has underwire in it but it's not sized like a bra so i just don't feel like dealing with that they've passed on this cropped champion hoodie a few times so this is the last time i'll be taking this to them they've also passed on this american apparel wrap shirt a few times but it gives ballet core vibes so maybe they'll grab it this time this is a top shop dress and i can't sell top shop to save my life but i do grab it for them because they make really trendy pieces so hopefully they grab this piece i they don't like to buy dresses in the winter though so okay this i hope they buy it is a vintage slip which i could sell but i'd rather just take it to them and get trading credit oh i forgot i have another one of these this one's actually from brandy melville so it will be a lot of three if they don't want any of these again this is mono b it's a workout brand i think i've brought this to them a couple times this is new with tags shirt so if they don't want this athletic shirt i'll sell it myself okay this is a very spring summer item so i don't know if i'll they'll buy it it is in a size large puma athletic dress my sister just got here so she's gonna want to go soon so i might have to hang on to this for summer it does have the logo right there i changed the angle because i was not a fan of that angle this is an intimately free people bodysuit again i'm not sure if they're if they don't buy bodysuits or not i'm not sure if they'll take this i actually grabbed this for Mature women's consignment, it's loft, but I think you know, I'll give it a try there. Again, I don't know if they'll buy this a dress in winter, but I feel like you can wear this in winter. It is lush, just a Nordstrom house brand. I love this style though, it's very on trend. Hopefully they'll want this. Okay, this was also in a recent bins haul. It is just a mesh lingerie piece. I feel like Buffalo Exchange will buy that, we'll see. I'm taking this to them because it has a perfume smell I cannot get out of it and I've tried. It is a Louis the Free shirt. Gosh, the lighting is just not working in my favor today. Sweater thing, so hopefully they'll want that because I will probably just have to donate it because of the perfume smell. They passed on this vintage windbreaker last time and there is like a small spot there. So I'll take it again and see if maybe they want it. They also have passed on this rag stock dress but i feel like this is a very trendy print no, so, it is cold. so maybe they'll buy it i grabbed this at a goodwill to take them and i'll list it if they don't buy it this is elizabeth and james which i think is uh, it's either sold at kohl's now or they don't make it anymore but i don't believe this was one sold at kohl's i believe this was like oops a $300 dress. I just don't have much luck with the brand, so we'll see if they want it. This is kind of like a Shein brand cider. This is a plus size skirt, carpet skirt. Hopefully they want it. This came from the bins. This has not gone to them yet. Also though, it's a 3X. I They tend to not buy plus size from me, which is interesting. Then I'm gonna throw this Y2K dead stock bag on top. Hopefully they want this. Also came from the bins. I'm only gonna bring them two bags today because I'm feeling a little bit lazy. Okay, here's another dress. And again, this is BP, which is a Nordstrom brand. It is new at tags. And to me, this is like, you know, a fall dress because it's brown, although now we're getting closer to Christmas. So I have a feeling they're gonna reject this, but also I feel like they wouldn't buy it in spring because it's brown. They don't buy Forever 21. This was mine that I never wore, thrifted. Uh, but since we're getting close to New Year's, maybe they'll take it for New Year's. They have rejected that before. Another windbreaker. I mean, I can sell these windbreakers if they don't want them. I'll probably only take them. This is probably the last time for both of these windbreakers since they've passed on them before. They've also passed on these Fabletics biker shorts a few times. So this is probably the last time these will be going in. Okay, I grabbed this at the bins. It is Carol a little vintage dress very sheer hopefully they want this if not i can try to sell it myself okay we have a windbreaker i have not taken them yet there is the brand on this one a vintage one and i mean if they reject all three maybe they're just not buying vintage windbreakers this is a brand 
that I've tried to sell before, but it's sold at Doll's Kill, Old Dolly Dearest, and also Nordstrom. It's uh, kind of like a punky, I don't know, goth brand maybe. But the problem is um, Doll's Kill loves to pull stock photos, and I like to use stock photos. So <laughs> I'm just going to take this to them. It is open bag. I feel like this is very Buffalo Exchange style, so maybe they'll want it. If not, I could list it, but I'd rather just not deal with stock photos getting pulled. Oh dang it, I just realized this is stained, but luckily it's stained on the back shoulder. It is this, I'm assuming vintage, like Asian inspired top. Um, we'll see. Okay, they've passed on this a few times. Um, I thought they would want it, but I guess not. It is vintage Jones, New York printed blouse so i'll try it one more time and if not i might have to list it myself i don't know i just thought they would like this print dang it this still has a good little tag on it i need to cut off this came from the bins it is also vintage jones new york but this is a very 90s dress and um i don't sell in depop where i feel like this would do better and there's just so many of these listed on poshmark that i'd rather take it to buy sell trade first this came from the bins maybe the same day as that jones new york dress this is a crocheted beaded skirt this might be it to spring summer for them so we'll see if they want this now okay i'm actually gonna google this brand in the car just to make sure it's not worth anything um i grabbed this at the bins to take them it is 100 percent merano wool vintage sweater and they love taking vintage sweaters so i usually collect them in the summer and then take them in the winter but i've already taken them pretty much all the vintage sweaters i was hoarding i got this at the bins in grand rapids one of the only finds from that day it is a very y2k shirt look at this and look at this beaded dragon if they don't take this i will be shocked I originally grabbed this to sell myself, but then I realized they don't really sell, and so this definitely seems like something by Sell Trade would want. It's Vintage Columbia Women's Printed Shirt. Is this actually women's? Yeah, I think it's women's. I was like, maybe it's the kids. So hopefully they want that because I probably won't get as much for it as I thought I could on Poshmark. Okay, I don't know if they'll want this, but it's new with tags, Windsor. I grabbed this at the bins. This was also in a haul. And I mean, we're a few, like a week, two weeks away from Christmas, but I just figured this would be a good holiday party shirt. So I'm gonna throw that in there. Oh, I don't think they'll take this. This is a Shein shirt. They don't really buy Shein anymore, but it's cute. So I'll try it. Okay, this was actually mine. It's a little bit dusty and dog fur-ish. Um, maybe they'll grab it. It's vintage DNKY. That's got a little crest here. Like, sure, I used to wear this layer stuff with it, but I haven't worn it in like three years, so they can have it if they want it. I don't know if they'll take this because of season. It is Treasure and Bond, which is a Nordstrom Rack brand that I pretty much, I don't even pick it up to take to them, but I thought this shirt was really cute style. So it is a little spring summer, but it's black, so maybe they'll take it. Okay, I've got another one of these Puma dresses, but this one's a different print and the logo is white here. Also, I think it's a different size size small so will they want it i don't know probably not but you know i will say buffalo exchange buys more out of season stuff than crossroads okay i took this to them last year and they didn't want it so we'll see if they want it this year it is vera moda which is another nordstrom brand long sleeve like knit dress so this is definitely like a winter dress but i don't know if i want it since I already rejected it and I do not want to have to list this on Poshmark. This was also mine and I wore it maybe like what? It is like Eats Fans. I don't know if you, that's how you say it. I think it's Dutch and they sell this at Urban Outfitters. It's a blue cropped turtleneck with brown on it. BDG high rise button fly skinny jeans. I think this is probably the last time these are going to go because uh, I don't think they're really buying skinny jeans anymore. They rejected this last time which I'm really surprised about. It's a zara shirt and i mean i could sell this myself i would just rather get like eight dollars from them it's or maybe even more maybe like nine dollars then list it myself and get about the same amount and then i have this free people skirt free people skirts do abysmal for me and poshmark this is a size two so they have rejected this maybe they'll take it this time and i think to end off this bag another free people skirt size eight 
again just because free people skirts do so bad for me but if they reject both these skirts this time and they've already been rejected i will probably sell them myself oh this is so summery they're not gonna buy this but might as well take it to them it's a bp dress size small again i don't think they'll buy this because of season right now but i have space this is actually gonna go on top I bought this to resell myself, but I'm just not uh, super happy with the condition of it. So I will just probably be getting my money back if they buy it. It is a men's Ted Baker maroon pullover. So that will actually be the item to go on top. Hopefully they want this. Well, I can actually fit one more item in there. Oh, there's Olive. So I'm gonna put this Princess Polly dress in there that they have also rejected. So this is a lot of rejects. Um, not a whole lot of new stuff I'm taking them because I was lazy and didn't feel like pulling out my new stuff. <laughs> so hopefully they buy the rejects this time. All right, I'm actually gonna finish this video outside because my dad's on the phone. The Buffalo Exchange didn't have an itemized receipt. They were just telling me what they priced each item at. I don't usually stand at the counter. I usually shop while they go through my items. But today I did watch a few of the items they were taking in. They paid me $40 of in-store credit at Buffalo Exchange, meaning they everything they took in they priced at $80 and they actually didn't take that much at Buffalo Exchange Crossroads took a lot this plus one more item so they gave me over $200 of in-store credit which is awesome I honestly did not think I was going to get that much I was hoping just to get like around $100 today because I felt like I took in a lot of rejects but they bought a lot of the stuff they had rejected in the past which is why I take things in three or four times um Oh my gosh, you can see Olive watching me. Should we say hi to Olive? Hello, Olive. So, that is it for this video today. I hope this was helpful. Obviously, if you don't have a Buffalo Exchange or a Crossroads, these styles and brands likely apply to Plater's Closet as well. You just won't get as much for it. I would definitely recommend checking a Buffalo Exchange or Crossroads out in your area if you have one and like me, like I'm in the suburbs, it took us like, I don't know, 30 minutes to drive into Chicago today and an hour to drive home because the traffic here is awful. It could be worth the drive. Like $200, over 200 plus 40 from Buffalo Exchange is totally worth the drive to me and then also i got a bunch of items to resell and that's why i do in-store credit that will be a different haul hopefully coming in the next few months because i'm starting to do my buffalo exchange crossroads hauls as kind of like almost like a two month update so i film it and then in two months i will post post the sold comp so you can see what has sold so that is it from me today if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up it helps out the channel and also definitely leave a comment down below if you want to see more of the style video they used to be very popular when i was going to play-dohs but uh, i assume people have less access to buffalo exchange and crossroads than they did play-dohs i will see you guys in another video soon goodbye